Hi there, welcome to Techie Toys. The purpose of this instructional video is to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up your lurching vampire. Before you set up your lurching vampire, find a suitable area to place him in. Make sure to place your lurching vampire on level ground, as this will ensure optimal operation. Keep the area around your lurching vampire clear of obstructions and debris, such as leaves, bushes, and rocks, as they may hinder movement. We suggest taking everything out of the box before you begin. Your parts list is as follows. Head, hands, clothing, and pole. Feet, three each, labeled A. Weighted foot, one each, labeled B. Module with pole attached. Key for feet removal. Lower pole, labeled C and D. Upper pole, labeled D and G. Brown support poles, labeled E and F. Brown support poles with wire, labeled F. An adapter box, DC adapter, 6 volt, 2 amp. Locate the three feet labeled A on the bottom. Turn over the module and look for the corresponding A markings on the bottom. Snap each of the feet into the module, matching A to A. You're going to hear a click when the foot is correctly attached to the base. Please make sure the feet are flush with the bottom of the module. Otherwise, your lurching vampire will be unstable and could tip over during use. Next, take the weighted foot labeled B and match it to the B on the bottom of the module. This is located on the back of the module. Insert this foot until you hear a click. Once all of the feet have been correctly attached, place the module in the area you are planning to use your lurching vampire. Again, make sure he is on level ground and or a level floor surface. Take the lower pole labeled C and D and snap lock it into the module, matching the C on the pole to the C on the module, making sure it clicks into place. Find the upper pole labeled D and G and match D on this pole to the D on the pole extending from the base. Slide the pole down until you hear that click sound. Make sure that the Y connection on the poles is facing forward. To connect the brown support poles to the Y connection, match the E at the end of the brown support pole to the E on one of the Y connection joints. Push the poles together until you hear the click. Repeat this again for the other side of the Y connection. Again, matching E to E, listening for that click when connecting the poles together. Now, find the brown support poles with wire and assemble these to the brown support poles matching F to F. Once you have attached both brown support poles with wire, check to make sure the wire is not wound around the poles. Also, make sure that the area in front of these brown support poles is free and clear of any obstructions. These brown poles support the vampire as it lurches forward. To finish assembling your lurching vampire, take the head, hands, and clothing part and locate the G pole underneath the clothing. You're going to need to pull the clothing up and over the vampire in order to get a better view of this connection. Match G on this pole to the G on the pole attached to the module. Push the body pole connection point till the click sound is heard. Now, locate both wires inside the back of the clothing of the lurching vampire. A multicolored wire labeled H and a metal wire with a hook on the end. Make sure these wires are not tangled or wound around any of the poles. Then, take the wire labeled H and connect it to the jack labeled H on the top of the module. Then, take the hook at the end of the metal wire and connect it to the O-ring on the weighted foot attached to the back of the module. Slide the hook through the O-ring, making sure it is fully attached. The purpose of the metal wire is to help stabilize the lurching vampire during use. Your lurching vampire has been supplied with a 6-volt, 2-amp DC adapter. It is important to only use the supplied adapter or a UL-approved 6-volt 2-amp adapter. 
Take this adapter and plug it into the DC adapter jack on the module. Then plug the other end into a power outlet, but do not turn on the vampire just yet. You'll notice hook and loop fastener strips located on the underside of the vampire's clothing and the opposite strips on the feet of the module. Attach these strips on the clothing to the corresponding strips on all four feet. Pull the clothing down and spread it out over the feet and the module to conceal. To give your lurching vampire a realistic appearance, straighten out the hood and cape. Also, make sure the hands on your lurching vampire are forward-facing and attached at shoulder level. They cannot be in any other position or the item may not function properly. One additional note for disassembly. You'll notice a small key attached to one of the feet connected to the module. This key is needed for removal of feet after use. Remove the key from the foot when your lurching vampire has been disassembled down to the module and feet only. Turn over the module to find the two square holes right next to the A or B sticker on each foot. Place the end of the key into the square openings and push the key in, while twisting and pulling the foot. This will release the foot and you will be able to slide the foot off while holding the key in place. Remember to place the key back on the foot once disassembly is complete. Now turn the switch on top of the module to on and let the scaring begin. For more information, visit our website at www.techytoys.com and click on customer support for other helpful tips and troubleshooting. Also available are downloadable instructions and product setup videos. You can also click on the item to find where to purchase additional optional equipment, such as foot pad triggers for activation and replacement DC adapters. Thank you, and happy haunting!